What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we are tying, or I will be tying, um, a Crazy Charlie, or my take on a Crazy Charlie. Um, but before we do anything, I want to make a shout out to uh, two of the newest members over on the member channel, or the member section, uh, which is um, Anthony Browers and Aydur Christianson. Uh, <laughs> I hope I said that right. Thank you guys so much for joining the member section. Uh, I really hope you enjoy the content over there and please do remember you are um, a part of the, uh, the process or you're a part of the content I will be making over there. So if you haven't joined the member section already, please uh, consider doing it uh, because we will be doing cooler stuff or not cooler stuff, we'll be doing other stuff over there. Right. So. I already have a hook mounted in my vise here, which is the hook I don't tie on that often actually. It is the um, SA250 saltwater series from Eric's Hooks. Um, it's just a really great hook for upside down flies and, or upside down shrimps or whatever. Uh, strong hook as well, so um, a really, really great one for, um, for those uh, bonefish flies, I guess. Uh, so. Just get your thread going here. I've cheated a little bit and uh, done it ahead just for the sake of the length of this video. So, um, first off, I want to tie in a few strands of crystal flash, Mitch crystal flash in this case, which is a, which is a flash I've been uh, favoring lately a little bit. So just about a hook length here. I want to tie that in on the top of the hook here. And just you just need a few strands, not a whole lot. Flip this over on itself. Tie that down as well. And then just go back to the point right here, which is where I laid down the base layer of my thread. Make sure this is really nice and tight. Now this is obviously way too long, so I will just be trimming that off. A little bit of uneven length, like this. So there's a few short ones in there, a few long ones. Like so. And I will be flipping the fly over to this position in uh, just a little bit, but for now it's easier to tie it uh, like this. Then I want some of this uh, flat braid from uh, Lagertune. This is the color Fluor, Fluor <laughs> Fluorescent Blue. So just get a piece off here. tight and then just work your way down to where you tied in that that flash go back up again and then you want to stop right around this point here oh uh, you can see I actually made um, a little stop there um, or a little bump with the um, with the flash I cut it off there, so uh, I know where to put in my dumbbell eyes, which I have here. And the way I like to put them on is just to spin my thread around the eyes a little bit, or a few turns. And that way I can get them in. And then just crossing turns. These in. Make sure they're really, really tight on there. Grab your braid here 
And if you don't have a braid, you can of course use uh, some flat tinsel or something like that. Some dubbing would work fine as well. And then just work your way up towards the dumbbell eyes. And just give it an extra turn there. Tighten it off. And here you can flip it over on itself. Plus I want to do a little trick here. Uh, so just make sure it's, it's tied down like this. Then what you can do is to flip this over a little bit and kind of measure out where uh, the hook point is. And then just cut this. Don't cut it straight through, but in a, a bit of a bit of uneven length, if it's possible, and then you can pull this apart, and then you have a few free uh, flash threads there, which you can flip back over on themselves like this and tighten them down. But before I do that, I just want to secure it like this, just with a few turns because I want to uh, secure this braid body with some UV resin. So just, whoa, really came out fast there. So just cover that body with a thin layer here. Like so. Where's my needle? There it is. Just distribute that a little bit around the braid here to make an uneven, not an uneven, to make an even shape. And here you can, of course, if you really want to go into detail, you can try to make a small taper, uh, but it doesn't matter that much on this one. It looks good. doesn't matter that much. There we go. Spin that a little bit. <laughs> Harden that. I think my, my lamp needs to be charged. It isn't curing that resin super well. So just tie on top of the resin here, it doesn't matter, like so. And then flip these back over on themselves. Tie on top of that, just with a few turns. And there you have a few um, built-in flash trends, which is kind of neat. Then I want some of this uh, sculpting flash fiber. Uh, this color is called natural, but I, it's actually closer to uh, a greenish blue, actually. So I don't know why they call it uh, natural. <laughs> Maybe I got a pack that's that was labeled wrong. I think it's kind of greenish. Still, it's still a cool color, color nevertheless. I think it's the right color. So here, uh, and see, I got a bunch that's a little bit too, it's a bit too big. So I'll be using this for um, more than one fly. Just set that aside. So what I'm doing here is I kind of want to uh, I cut the ends a little bit into a taper because I want to tie this bundle in on the middle right here where I'm holding so I can flip it over on itself 
giving me double the material, but it would also be tied in um, twice as good. So, have the bundle and the length you want the wing to be. Uh, that way you don't have to cut into the fly afterwards. So place this on the top of the hook, which is now um, the bottom, or it was the bottom of the hook. <laughs> it used to be this way, now it's this way, so the top became the bottom. You know what I mean? Then tie this in all the way up to the hook eye, which is here. Nice and tight. Then flip this back over on itself. Like so. And then just tie directly on top of that. And that will force the wing to lie down and cover that hook tip in there and it's nicely tapered as well so all good yeah it was a weird hair there I can catch that here we go. so the fly is not 100 percent done but almost get a good finish in here just one cut off my tying thread and then I want some of this uh, UDC fluorescent orange thread kind of make a little orange head up in front here because that looks super cool in contrast with this uh, blue blue body Cut that off and then just make a nice head here with the orange tying thread. You can of course leave this step out if you don't want it or uh, try a little bit different colors. Get a wet finish in here. There we go. thread and all that's left is to give this head a little bit of varnish let me just show you how the fly looks oh, it's not in the vise so here it is get it back in like so that is the finished uh, crazy charlie or at least my take on it Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to do that. Hit the bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Um, leave some comments. And uh, if you were wondering about this uh, jacket, it is a new jacket that I have uh, gotten in my shop, or it's not that new, but I ordered one for myself so I could show it to you guys. Um, it's a champion uh, wind and waterproof jacket. It's a really nice one. I've been wearing this all week. Um, have a look at it, I will link to it down in the description with the other things and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.